Dawn breaks over Yangon, the capital of Myanmar, formerly Burma. This morning, I was feeling a bit brave. I wanted to discover some of the secrets behind those Yangon smiles. I wanted to live life as a local. And there's nothing more enjoyable than taking a stroll along Chinatown, uh, along the streets in Chinatown. Uh, there's bargains to be had, there's souvenirs to be bought, there's uh, fresh fruit there, delicious tropical fruits. So, uh, and of course there's uh, the local tea shops, and they're all safe. A traditional Myanmar breakfast at this sidewalk eatery could satisfy both my appetite and my curiosity. To add chili or not, <laughs> that is the question. There's different kinds of mohinga in different parts of the country. Here in Yangon, you might call it medium spice, medium thick. While down by the Thai border, it's thicker, kind of like a stew. Over by the Bangladesh border, be careful, it's a clear broth, but it's so peppery, fiery hot, you'll be sweating till next week. That's why I've got a towel with me. Well, time to try some mohinga. Just one little spoonful, please. <laughs> All this for not more than a dollar. Surely today, I could stay within budget. My appetite satisfied, I took to the streets for my next Budget Burma adventure. It's not easy hanging around the streets in Yangon when your hair is as thin as desert grass. You see, there's a tradition in Myanmar of letting their hair grow and grow and grow. I felt bald. In the name of self-improvement, I wandered into their beauty salon to find out their hair care secrets. One was carrying her lunch, soup or so I thought. Suddenly the soup was poured onto one girl's hair. Here was the magic potion I had been looking for. Cinnamon, ginger, lavender oil, pieces of lemongrass, how would it all wash out? The answers behind their locks were unlocked, and I was amused and hungry at the same time. But what shine. They say half the fun of any journey is getting there. My friend suggested stopping for a traditional blessing of the car to make that journey safe. Now riding in a holy roller, I headed down to the Yangon River in search of a local's way to enjoy the setting of the sun. Finally, it was nighttime and I was hungry. While the Peking duck ate into my wallet more than my breakfast bill did, after dinner entertainment was included, no extra charge. A garland for a Yangon girl. No tourists here, I had lived like a local, all at a barbie. Some of the secrets behind the smiles, and I was smiling more as well.